Lovely. This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in Sheffield. We just had the announcement of the Team GB squad that will be going to qualifiers ahead of Tokyo 2020. With me, Luke McCormack. Luke, how are you, mate? I'm good, mate. Uh, yourself? Can't complain. How nice it feels to be one well. step away. I look well, thank you. The people that can't see me will not believe you. I don't believe you, but we'll carry on. One step away now, Tokyo 2020, home qualifiers. How excited are you to be so close? I'm buzzing just to be boxing on, uh, on home turf, really, because the amount of countries you're boxing, like... Russia, Belarus, like they're just they're on the other side of the world, really, and you're boxing, no one's even shouting for you. You, you, you win your fight, and it's like pat on the back, you're boxing tomorrow. So it's like, it's going to be a big deal made about this one at home, so glad everyone can come watch us and uh, support us. Now you mentioned there's a big deal being made at home. Northeast boxers always get good support, whether amateur or professional. What has the response been like? Obviously, everyone will be able to come down and their, their bus loads and their car loads to come and watch you. What has it been like? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, obviously, the team, the team has only just been announced. Like, we haven't been able to, like, able to see anything until the day, so I haven't, I haven't even said anything yet, really. What's well, the f- I'm, sure, I'm sure loads of people will come watch this box. Everyone, everyone talk like they're going to come, but it's just seeing if they're coming out. You have to hold them all to their word. Obviously, yeah. going into an Olympic cycle, appreciate you've got one more hurdle to overcome before you're there. How does it feel, though, sort of coming in the, the next few months compared to, say, preparing for a Europeans or a Worlds? This is the pinnacle for any amateur fighter. Yeah, it's to- totally different. Uh, obviously, I missed out on the last Olympics, so I've, I'm making sure I'm getting into this one. I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get, to get there, really. Now, obviously, last year, you got yourself a medal at the Europeans. You were there at the Worlds as well. How do you feel your form is going into this year, and what have you worked on as well in the last few months? I've worked on my lifestyle outside the ring rather than... Because I feel like if you work on your lifestyle outside the ring, inside the ring it comes all together, like your mindset and that. So be, that, that basically, I always train hard, but like just to be a bit more focused, really. Obviously, we're down here at the Institute today, fantastic facilities. You mentioned you're in here Monday to Thursday. How has being in here with this world-class setup and these top-class coaches as well changed your life and your career? It just keeps you on the right path. And like you, you come around here, you're around people who's on the same mission as you. Uh, you're not, you're not knocking about with it, no, uh, no idiots. Well, try not to knock about with no idiots, you're not being an idiot, so. It just, it just puts you in the right path, Every, everything's done here for you. Like, at home it's a bit different, because you got to do it all yourself, but here you come down, it's like everything's on a plate. It's ideal, really. Obviously a fairly unique situation where you and your brother in line to go to the Olympics. How has that been, sort of working with him over the years, this is the first time we've had you on. Is it nice to have someone in such a lonely sport there to constantly push you on as well? Yeah. I, everyone sees it's the loneliest sport in the world, but I'm, I'm not getting up running by myself. I'm, I'm getting up running with my brother. I'm not going to the gym by myself. I'm not dieting by myself. So we're doing everything together. So it's like, it makes a big difference. What does boxing mean to your family? Obviously, you're both so talented and look to have really bright futures ahead of you, both very decorated amateurs as well. How did it all get going in your family? And like I say, how much does this sport mean? I don't know. My, my, my dad just took us up the gym. Like, just. I don't know. It just happened, uh, mate. It just. My little brother, my older brother said uh, he'd give us 20 quid a week if I start going to Berkeley Boxing, so that's where it started really, and then started get, getting to the uh, championships, winning the championships, boxing for England, and then it just, it all just happened, do you know what I mean? I was about to ask you about that process, it seems like it was all just one big blur, but was there any moment where your dad or your family or even you guys realised there's something special to be yeah, had here? Obviously like, it was like, I want to win the North East rounds, I want to win the, mid, the Midlands rounds, then I want to win the national rounds and Box for England they just it keeps like stepping up, stepping up and this is like this is like the last hurdle really, this uh, Olympics, so I'm I'm just I'm excited to get there really. I was talking to Fraser Clark about all these pictures we can see around the gym of previous medalists. Obviously just over there we got all of Rob McCracken's medalists from twenty twelve and twenty sixteen. When you come in every day and see those faces, is it a motivation to have your picture up there? Yeah well some of some of them have made a lot of money, haven't they? Some of them are like especially them ones over there like the millionaires aren't they? so it's like that's where you need to be. That this Olympic medal, the Olymp- a medal at the Olympics is like a, a platform of like, just puts you on a platform, doesn't it? Where you're getting the big money when you first start, and rather than selling tickets and fighting, fighting hard fights, like you're, you're already there, you're starting on the big money. Now, something almost everybody on that wall over there will have experienced coming off the back of an Olympic si- cycle, particularly if they've had their success and got their name out there. Promoters, managers, advisors from the pro ranks starting to put feelers out and try and bring you in. Is that something you're just trying to put to the back of your mind till the Olympics is over with, not worrying about what could come after? Uh, nah, I'm worrying about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. It's all I've been thinking about, really, but uh, obviously you've got to get this amateur 
this is the last hurdle in the amateur, so you just gotta get, you gotta do your best at it, and then it gets you ready. The, the, like this is the big stage, this is the biggest stage in boxing, amateur. So it's getting you ready for the big stage of being a professional and uh, the big crowds and being at home is a big advantage. Speaking to Sammy Lee about that, and he seemed quite suggestive that he'd already been having talks for post Olympics. You're saying that you are very much thinking about what's next. You're not sort of putting it to the back of your mind. Does that mean that this could be your last cycle, so to speak? Oh, it's definitely my last cycle, 100%. It's me, the, the, after the Olympics, I, I'll, not, I'll, not, I'll not box it. I'm a chick, and I'm going to go street professional. Have a little holiday, then I'll be a little holiday in Thailand, and I'll be street professional. Obviously, on the professional scene, the Northeast is sort of thriving. We've got Lewis Ritson there selling a bucket load of tickets. Joe Law's on the up. We've got Josh Kelly fighting on Sky Bills. Is it in the back of your mind that in years to come, that could be you sort of filling out arenas and venues up there? Million percent. They, they just open the door because the last 10 years, North, Northeast boxing hasn't really been any, any big deal. And like, it's Ritson basically who's, who's opened the door, and then Joe Law's and Kelly have, have like helped. But Lewis Ritson's done a massive for the, uh, for the Northeast boxing. Massive. He's brought it back, really, hasn't he? Yeah. They, couldn't, they couldn't sell that arena out without him, I don't think. But obviously, everyone, everyone's got a part, part to play. If you could give a final word to everyone who's going to be coming down in their drove loads to watch you and everyone that'll be there supporting you as well, the qualifiers, what would your message be? Um, don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know. Well, thank you for making time for Boxing Social. I'm sure we'll catch you soon, and best of luck.